Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear. Hey, good evening, everyone. Nice to meet you. It's really, it's really nice to meet you, uh, students. Pre-intermediate. Good evening. My name is Caleb Nunez. I'm going to be, I'm going to be your English teacher for this module. So I am very excited. I'm very happy uh, to help you. So I want you to, you know, say a few words, a few um, welcome words. I don't know. Tell what's your expectation and uh, tell us about you a little bit. Like, like me, I'm going to be your English teacher. My name is Caleo Nunez. It's really, it's really um, great to be with you. We're going to have fun throughout this module, and I hope I can help you uh, progressing, right, in your learning process. Um, I hope you have the confidence, right? I am reliable. You can make me any question. Uh, you can tell me, teacher, I don't understand, teacher, please repeat. Please, teacher, give one example. Uh, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate, okay? Let me, let me say welcome to you. Remember that uh, some requirements are to have the camera activated. You have to have the camera on and you have to participate throughout the classes. Nice to meet you, Carlos Fortillo. Nice to meet you. Tell us about you. Tell us a little bit about you. I don't understand it. You don't understand? No. Like, for example, hello, I am Carlos Portillo. I am 20, 20 years old, 20, 21, 22, 22. something like that. Ah, my favorite hobby is playing the piano. Um, I have one brother and one sister. I don't know, general information about you, can you? Okay, uh, hello, my name is Carlos Portillo. I am 22 years old. My favorite color is blue. Uh, my favorite activity is watch movies. Uh, I have one sister. Um, All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Carlos. We're going to have fun with you. Thank you. And welcome officially to the class. Let me welcome now Miss Sandra Campos. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Sandra Campos, Sandra Amelia Campos Avalos. Um, I, I am 30, 36 years old and um, I like uh, the animals and uh, my favorite color is black. Oh yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Good information. Thank you, Miss Sandra. And again, welcome officially to your English session. Let me now say hello to another classmate. We have Jessica Castro. Hello, lady. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Hello, teacher. Nice to meet you, too. I am Jessica Castro. I'm 38 years old. I'm married, and I have two kids. Two are boys. Two blessings, huh? Yes. All right, congratulations and welcome to this English class. We are very excited to have you in this class, uh, means, and I'm going to be your English teacher for the next four weeks, okay? So we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. 
Okay. okay. Teacher, thank you. My pleasure. Let me welcome now Miss Marbelli Aleman. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Marbelli. Um, I am from La Union. I I have two two children. Mm, my favorite food is spaghetti. And my favorite color is blue and red. Um, my my hobby is listen to music. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for the information. Very interesting, Marbelli. Very interesting. Uh, let me welcome now Miss Sandra Amaya. Is correct? Yes, Mister. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And I am Sandra Amaya. I am a teacher, and I have learning in this course. And I have two children, and I like to um, eat. <laughs> My favorite food is Xiaomi. My favorite drink is um, iced tea. Okay. Yes. All right, you're oh, so you are a teacher. You are my my colleague. We are we are colleagues. Hey, colleague, teacher, colleague, colleague, colega, oh. colleague. Okay, Miss Teacher Sandra Amaya, welcome to the class. Yes, you will learn more English. You will learn for sure. I assure you that I'm here to help you with that. Finally, another gentleman, Jose Rodriguez. Hello, sir. Good evening. Activate your microphone, Jose. I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Jose Samuel Rodriguez. I live in Ciudad Arce La Libertad. I work in the factory with the mechanic. My favorite color is black. My favorite sport is soccer. Uh, my hobbies and is watch TV, watch series, movies. Okay. Great, great. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Jose. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome officially to our English session. They told me that this group, I have very intelligent students. So I am very happy about that. I am very happy about that. Welcome, Jose. Let's welcome to Tanya Montoya. Hello, young lady. How are you doing tonight? Uh, my hobby uh, listen to music. I have one of the children. Uh, I the world the make um, my favorite color is um, sky blue. Um, <laughs> only that, only that. No problem, Tanya. Good enough. How about Jancy Melendez? Nice to meet you. Good evening. How are you today? I'm okay. Um, I'm Jancy Andrea. I'm 16 and I'm in the high school. And I love English. I like, really like English. <clears throat> All 
All right, all right, me too. Me too, and I'm happy you like English. I'm happy you like English. It will change your life for sure, for sure. I'm so excited, Jancy. You are part of this class. You are a member in this class. So welcome, welcome officially. Thank you. All right. So let's welcome to Sara Molina. Good evening, dear lady. Good evening. My, my name is Sara Molina. Um, I am from Santa Ana. I have two songs. Um, my favorite color is, is white. Um, only. <laughs> <laughs> so let's... Only that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Good evening and welcome officially, Sara. Let me now say hello to another student, another dreamer. She's Elizabeth Mejia. Good evening, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Mejia. I am a content. I live in San Salvador. I work in La Libertad. Um, my favorite uh, word is, my favorite hobby is travel. I, I like no different place. Uh, I enjoy to read the books and listen to the music. I have um, a sister and a, sis a sister and I have a brother and nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. It's really a pleasure. Welcome to the class, Miss Elizabeth. I'm very happy you are a family member. I hope you ask me questions and um, whenever you need help, don't hesitate. Tell me about it, tell me about it. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's welcome officially to Emma Korea. Hello. Welcome, lady. How are you doing today? I'm very good. My name is Emma Korea Madrid. Uh, I live in La Union. I have 23 years. I am starting business administration. Um, my favorite color are black, white, and pink. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you for the information. Good job. Also, we have other classmates here. Let me see. Thank you, Emma. Let's welcome to who? Jessica Castro? Hello, Miss Jessica. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Again. Oh, ya me dijo usted, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see, let me see. Maria, how about Maria Menendez? What about Patricia Salazar? What about, ah, Marina viene ahorita manejando. Okay, yeah. And um, Ruth Cruz. And Natalie Sanchez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. Needless to ask you, needless to say, let's get into the topic. Let's get in action. Let's learn English. Today, I'm going to share my screen with you. Let me see. We're going to learn about frequency of things. Can you visualize my screen? 
Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We excellent, excellent. Well, well, well. Let's check it out. We have um how often do you exercise as the first unit? How often is asking you for how frequent do you do an activity? What is the objective tonight? Okay, let's see. Today, we're going to listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. We're going to express frequency of activities. Hopefully you can see my screen. Let me see. Teacher. Yes. No sé si soy yo, pero yo no escucho nada. No se escucha. No se escucha. Gracias. No. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme. Vamos a intentarlo nuevamente. Quizás se nos fue algún clic por ahí, ¿verdad? Me dices ahora. Let me try again. Hello. We're now Can you in listen? Session six. How often do you exercise? Yes. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, we're going to listen one more time. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, I want you to look at the conversation and I want you to tell me if you understand everything or is there anything you don't understand? Do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Yes. I would like to know what is the meaning of Couch potato. Couch, couch, repeat guys, couch potato. Couch potato. Repeat, couch, couch potato. potato. Couch potato. Couch potato is an expression, okay? Uh, well, couch, it has a meaning. Couch is the synonym of sofa, yeah? You can say sofa or you can say couch, uh, but the expression couch potato is a person that is very lazy, is a person that stays in the sofa, watching television with the remote control, with the popcorn, with the little soda here, with the little cookies over here, and like this in the sofa, right? Changing the channels with the remote control all day long. That's a couch potato. Do you understand? Yes, teacher, thank you. I am a couch potato, but only on Sundays. On Sundays, I don't work. So I am a couch potato on Sunday. So couch potato is como alguien que está en, las, en el sofá viendo tele, verdad, todo el día, sin hacer nada. 
So that's a couch potato. Are you a couch potato? No, teacher. You're not no, a couch I'm potato? Not. A little bit? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else? What else? Any other question? Okay, what about this question? How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise like that? And Paul says about five times a week. It's a frequency that he's giving, okay? Let's practice this conversation, Mary and Paul. Teacher Kalev is going to be Mary and all the students will play Paul's role. You ready? Ready to practice? I want you to speak up so I can listen, so I can correct your pronunciation, okay? Okay. I'll start, and you are gonna be Paul. Let's go. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Every morning. Well, okay. I, I, almost, almost, I almost always, always get up early. Always get up early. Wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. Then I am going night like skating. Oh, then I am going skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Five times a week. What about you? I, will, I hardly ever exercise. I usually watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real couch potato. <laughs> All right, let's make a switch. The students will play Mary's role and teacher Kalev will play Paul's role. Let's go on three, two, one, go. Do you, you really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. And then I go inline skating. Wow. How, How often, often do you exercise like, like, like that? About, about five times a week. What about you? Oh, 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 I hardly ever exercise. For exercise, I usually use what's going to be in the free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. I guess I am a real coach potato. I'm a, I'm a real, I'm a real couch potato. I'm a real. I'm a real. What is the meaning of you really fit? You really you fit. What, what do you understand you by that? You really muy, fit. Muy, muy saludable. <laughs> muy en forma. Correcto. En forma. Fit es cuando usted es como, como en forma saludable, right? No solo exercise, sino come bien, se ve bien, se ve bien atlético. Entonces, fit es estar así. Ella le dice, you're really fit. Te ve bien en forma, súper en forma. You're really fit. Um, what up, what up, what up? Levantar pesas, lift weights, right? I lift, lift weights. Weight. Lift weights. Levantar pesas, chicos. Right? Up and down, lift weights. Um, este seriously es como cuando decimos really, right? Cuando algo está interesante, really. También podemos decir seriously. Seriously, right? To make it interesting. Um, if I ask you the question, how often do you exercise? For example, how often do you exercise? Do you have any volunteer in the class who answer that? How often do you exercise? Oh. 
or you don't exercise? Uh -huh, Jessica. I remember, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Con qué frecuencia? Uh, twice a week, teacher. Correct, correct. Es diferente que solo les pregunte, do you exercise? Do you exercise? Ustedes dirían, yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero, how often do you exercise? Es que tan frecuente. Está preguntándote frequency. Ok. Por eso es que ella dice five times, three times a week. Right? Etc. But also we have, uh, we can use the albers of frequency. Ok. Vamos a ver un video. Les comparto acá un link. Ok. So you watch a video. Short video. Okay. Bueno, es dos minutos. Go watch that video, please. Ahí les compartí el link. Okay, I believe you finished watching the video. Can you give me examples of frequency questions? For example, how often do you exercise? I sometimes exercise. All right, all right. Give a question. Give a question, Carlos. Make a question using how often. Uh huh, class. Students, make questions using how often. How often you take a shower? <laughs> how often you take a shower? Don't forget the auxiliary do. How often do, do you, you take it? Oh, thanks. How often do you take a shower? Excellent. How often do you take a shower? Okay. Continue. Can you make another question? How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you eat pupusas? That's a very important question for Salvadorians. Uh, population. Uh, hey, how often do you eat pupusas? Huh? How often do you eat pupusas? I eat pupusas like three or four times a week, maybe. <laughs> and you? Me too. You too? Okay. And you guys and you students? What about you students? Make another question. Make another question. How often? Come on. How often? Uh, 
How often do you watch TV? Okay, Carlos asks, how often do you watch TV? That's a good question, Carlos. Thank you. Uh -huh. Students, how often do you watch how, TV? How often do you cook? Repeat, Emma. How often do you cook? How often do you cook? Oh, that's a good one. How often do you cook? How often do you cook, Samuel? How often do you cook? I hardly ever cook. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Me too, me too. What about you, Marina? How often do you cook? Repeat. Always. I always. Repeat, I always cook. I always I cook. Always Make okay, a question. different question. Uh -huh. ¿Quién la tiene? Um, how, do you, how often do you speak English? Do you practice English? How often do you practice? Esa me, me interesa mucho, esa pregunta. Miss. How often do you practice English? A ver, guys, así honestly. How often do you practice English? Volunteers? Very hardly. Hardly ever, huh? Long time. Recuerden que lo que necesito es un subject, es un sujeto. ¿Qué más? Frequency. Yeah, frequency. Alper of frequency, correcto. Mm -hmm. Que sería que eh, always, Friday, usually. Always, never. Sometime, never. Ok, entonces vamos a usar un subject, luego alpha frequency, luego el verbo, the verb, the action verb, ok. I never alpha frequency. I never plus could. verb. Plus compliment. Follow this formula. Si ustedes siguen la fórmula, guys, ustedes van a poder hablar correctamente. Ajá. How often, how often do you cook? Okay, Samuel, make a new question using how often. How often what do you cell phone? Wait, wait, wait. Put it in order. How often do you? A ver, todo sería how often... Después de how often, que sí. Do you? Do you? Do you? El auxiliar do, o, o en, en todo caso, si fuera la tercera persona, das. Yes. Ubiquemos do en das ahí por cualquier cosa. How often plus do en das. Después, que sigue? Subject. You. Sujeto. You, por ejemplo. Y luego Black. verb. Y luego complement. Y luego va el question mark no se olviden de su question mark de su signo de pregunta si no está incorrecto vamos a ver Samuel eh, ubiquémosla ahí siguiendo la fórmula please how often auxiliary how often do you watch Netflix ¿Mm? cell phone <laughs> cell phone your cell phone, okay. Entonces, digamos, how often do you check? How often okay. do you check your cell phone? Aha, uh -huh. let me see, volunteers. How often do you check your cell phone? Do we have a volunteer? Always. <laughs> I, I, um, I always, always check my check. Check my cell phone, especially WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, the social media, huh? I know, I know. <laughs> a ver, one more question. Vamos a pedirles un ejercicio. Van a hacer, sigan la fórmula. How often do, luego el subject, luego el verbo y luego el complement con su question mark. Todos van a chat una pregunta. Prepárenla y me la mandan aquí al chat. Vamos a escoger la mejor pregunta para hacer conversations.
vaya, dice ahí que Teacher Caleb ya puso una pregunta. Entonces, apurémonos ahí con sus preguntas. Pónganlas en el chat. Put it in the chat. Put your question in the chat using how often. Chat, one question. Chat a question, Jessica. Chat a question, Emma. Put it on the chat. Ojo con las capital letters, Elizabeth. Todo es importante. Fíjense, capital letter. Tiene que llevar capital H. Capital H, porque estamos iniciando pregunta. Ajá, pero la pregunta está buena. How often do you buy a gift? Ok. How often do you visit your dentist? Muy bien, Jancy. Good job. Let's see. Continue, continue with the chat. Continue chatting your questions. Continue chatting your questions. Sandra says, how often do you sleep? Okay, okay. How often do you visit your family? I like that one, Sara. Good job. I like that one. How often do you eat in the day? What do you mean, Carlos? How often do you eat in the day? Hmm. Okay, ya vamos a llegar ahí. How often do you learn English? English, put me English in English. <laughs> How often do you travel? Bueno, vamos a agarrar un par de preguntas acá. I like it. I like it, guys. Me gusta su dinamismo. How often do you take a break? Vámonos con esta de Elizabeth. Dice, How often do you take a break? Take a break. ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué tan frecuente se toma un receso? How often do you take a break, Sandra Campos? A moments. Can you repeat? A moments. Moments. Mm -hmm. I, mm. I usually a few minutes. I usually. Okay, Sandra, I need a complete answer. ¿Qué vamos a necesitar en tu respuesta completa, Sandra? Mm. Revíseme la fórmula en el chat y se la vamos a ubicar nuevamente por acá. Right? Para que no se me le olvide. Y usted take me va a, a seguir break, esa. Eh? Ajá, take a break. Entonces necesito el subject. Siempre que van a iniciar una idea, I. necesitan un subject. En este caso es I. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y luego ustedes deciden el number of frequency. Si es always, si es never, si es sometimes. Eh, de hecho, vámonos a los adverbs of frequency. Gracias por las preguntas. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for your participation. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Yeah. It says, how often do you exercise? La forma más común de hacer preguntas de frecuencia es usando how often. Esa oh. es la forma más común. Ahora, no es la única forma. Hay otra forma. Mm -hmm. Do you ever? Con esta palabra mágica. Ever. Si solo dice, do you watch? Es una pregunta de yes or no. Pero si la pregunta lleva ever, es un frequency question. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Siempre voy a contestar con frecuencia. Si es así, son las dos formas de preguntar frecuencia. How often and do you ever? Okay, the first question. How often do you exercise? Let's watch this video. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. 
I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Okay. This way of answering, I'm giving you, I'm giving you like time expressions. Time expressions, for example, every day, every day, yes? For example, once a week. Repeat, once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. It's a frequent. It's a frequency. Solo que esto van al final de la oración. ¿Sí? Vean, subject, action verb, and frequency, the expression. Right? Once a week. Repeat, twice a month. Twice a month. Twice, twice a month. Twice, twice, twice a month. A month. Twice a month. Three times. Three times a three year. Times. Three, three, three times, times a year. Para decir una vez, once. 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 Y ahí especificamos, once. once a day. Repeat, once a day. Once, once, once a, a day. day. Que es una vez al día. Uh -huh. once, a, once a day. Dos veces. Twice. 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 Twice a month. Twice, Twice a month. Twice a week. Twice a year. Dos veces. Tres veces. Ya entramos en el número. Three. Y luego times. Three times. Three times. Cuatro veces. Four times. Cinco veces. Five times. Five times. Five times. Si no lo hago muy frecuente, vamos a usar I don't. La actividad y very often or very much. For example, I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Okay. Using expressions of frequency. Ahora, usando albers of frequency. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? He says, yes. I often watch TV after dinner. Y vean, el único ad, adverb of frequency que puedo usarlo in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end is sometimes. Okay, I sometimes watch TV before bed, or sometimes I watch TV before bed. Pero solo pueden hacerlo con sometimes, okay? Luego, hardly ever, I hardly ever watch TV. And no, I never watch TV. Can you try to use these expressions, please? Can you try to use these expressions? We're going to use your questions. Your questions in the chat. Let's see. For example, we have Jessica's question. Jessica says, how often do you travel? Muy buena pregunta, Jessica. Muy buena gramática. How often do you travel? Uh-huh, guys. How often do you travel? Traten de usar expressions or si no, esta forma, la albers of frequency. Uh-huh. How often do you travel? Volunteer? Travel to another country. Or... In El Salvador or to another country. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I travel... Once, once a month. month. You travel once a month? Yes. Thank you, Yancy. Uh huh. What about you guys? I hardly ever travel. You hardly ever travel, Marina? I'm sorry. Maybe in your next vacation you will travel. Yeah. Thank you, Marina. Somebody else. How often do you travel? I never travel. You never travel yet. You need, uh, you and Marina need to take some I vacation so to, to Roatan. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, guys, how often do you travel? I travel twice a month. Excellent, excellent. I travel twice a month. That's good. Those veces al mes. All right, let's get another question. Let's get another question. 
Carlos says, how often do you watch TikTok, the application TikTok? <laughs> how often do you watch TikTok? Honestly, honestly, guys, honestly. Tell me, aha, uh -huh, tell me. No nos vamos a castigar por eso, no se preocupen, but how often do you watch TikTok? Volunteers. I never watch TikTok. Ah, seriously? And said <laughs> You promise, you promise. Okay, okay. What about you guys? How often do you watch TikTok? I someone. I sometimes, sometimes watch TikTok. Okay, Jose, thank you. What about you? I never watch TikTok. You never watch TikTok? You don't I like don't TikTok? TikTok, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, incluso no tengo ni la aplicación. Vaya, pues le vamos a creer, Miss. Le vamos a dar el, el crédito ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> all right, all right. What about you, Jessica? I don't watch TikTok very often. Okay, okay, okay. You don't watch TikTok very often. Cuando usted dice, I don't watch TikTok very often, es que sí lo ve, pero muy, muy poco frecuente, ¿verdad? Thank you for the information. Thank you. Vaya, voy a transformar una de estas preguntas usando esta forma, right? Do you ever? Vamos a ver, tenemos acá... Read a book, buy shoes, ooh, take a break, travel, learn English, eat, visit your, fam your family. Do you ever, guys, do you ever visit your family? Do you ever visit your family? Tell me. Participation. Yes, I I visit, I visit my family. I visit my family twice a year. Twice. Twice, twice a, year. a year. Dos veces twice. al año. Okay. Twice a year. I visit están, my family están, twice uh -huh. a year. Están lejos. Están, sí, Chalate. They are. They are in Chalate. They are in the north. Ah, pues usted tiene que decir, ya me voy para el norte, vea. Ah, sí. Porque están ahí en Chalate. <laughs> ok. Ajá, uh -huh, guys. Do you ever visit your family? Yes, I often visit my family. Your family, right? Your family. Ok. Thank you, Jancy. Somebody else? Volunteers? Volunteers? Uh I sometimes visit my family. Okay, that's good. That's good, Carlos. It's important to visit your family. It's important to keep the connection uh, with the loved ones. How about you, Sara? Do you don't visit your family very often? Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no sé cómo contestarle. I, I visit my family. Uh, no sé cómo contestarle. Ya está, solo necesito ahí la frecuencia. Si Ajá, es every había... week, every month, si es una vez al, al mes, por no, ejemplo. Es que sí, es que ajá, ya, ya, ya había contestado que es twice. Twice. Twice a year. Twice a year. Twice okay. a year. Thank Porque you. yo estoy en Santa Ana y me toca viajar hasta Chalate. That's good, that's good. Uh -huh. So you visit your family, you say, I visit my family twice, twice, twice a year. Twice a year. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue watching this video. Let's go. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Al you can say with sometimes, sometimes is special. Por eso le han puesto aquí an asterisk. Can begin a sentence. 
sometimes it's special porque usted puede decir sometimes I watch TV. O normalmente I sometimes watch TV. Puede ir al inicio también. So, ese es el único uh, que puede ser usado así. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverse of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never. Or Remember, the position of the adverbs of frequency is in the second place. For example, he is the subject never plays in third person baseball. He never plays baseball, right? The next example, please, uh, Marina, can you help me? We always go for a run. We always, we always go for a run. A ver, interpretación, ¿cómo sería ahí? Siempre vamos a correr. Siempre vamos a correr. Nosotros siempre vamos a correr. Correcto. Thank you, Jose. Let's go with the next one. You hardly ever swim. Tú rara vez, casi nunca. You hardly ever swim. Okay. Always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, look, sometimes can go normally in the second position or in the first position or in the last position. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that can be played like that. Okay? Los demás tienen que seguir el patrón acá. Sujeto, adverb of frequency y lo demás, ¿verdad? Solo sometimes puede ser usado así. Vamos a ver, um, my, Marbelly, ayúdanos with the first example, Marbelly. Okay. Sometimes we go for a I go to the dance class. I sometimes go to a dance class. I sometimes go to a dance class. Okay, Sandra Campos, next example, please. Sometimes I go to a dance class. Sometimes. I go to a dance class. Entonces, ahí va en primer lugar. And the last example, Sandra Amaya, help us. I go to a dance class sometimes. I go to a dance class sometimes. Entonces, ahí es el único que puede ser usado de esa manera. A ver, give us an example using sometimes. Give us an example using sometimes. Sometimes I play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Can you give one example using sometimes? Some, I sometimes go to a uh, swimming. Swim. I sometimes go swimming. I swimming. sometimes go to the supermarket. You sometimes go to the supermarket. Very good. Okay. Somebody else? Using sometimes. I sometimes walk to my work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I sometimes walk to my work. Good example, Sandra, good example. A veces ella camina para el trabajo, a veces. Quizás las otras veces she takes the bus, 
She goes by car, etc. Sometimes it's el 50%. Somebody else has a different example using sometimes. A ver, ¿qué me puede usar sometimes al final? I read a book sometimes. Correcto. I read a book sometimes. Excellent, Sandra. Good job. Good participation. I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Uh -huh. How often do you do any sport activity? Uh, Marina, do you, how often do you do any exercise or any sport activity? Go to a dance class sometimes. How about I you? I hardly ever exercise. Yeah. Really? Okay, so you hardly ever exercise. Why? You, you don't have much time? No tengo tiempo. <laughs> yeah, you, you say, I don't have much time. Repeat, Marina. I don't have, I don't have much time. Much uh, free time. En este caso sería como tiempo libre. Yeah, no problem, Miss, no problem. What about you? What about you, Jessica? How often do you exercise? I usually exercise. Usually exercise. Okay, that's good. How often do you lift weights, Carlos? How often do you lift weights? Yes, eso. Lift, lift weights. Get a lift weight, chicas. Levantar pesas. Levantar, Levantar pesas. pesas. Mm -hmm. Es correcto. Lift. Lift es levantar algo. Lift. Bueno. Como L-I-F-T, lift. Y weights es peso, como pesas. Lift weights. I sometimes lift weights. Ah, that's good. That's good. So you exercise. That's good. That's good. Okay. So how often do you practice your English, guys? How often do you practice? Or how often do you sing songs in English? Yes? How often do you sing songs in English? Tell me, tell me. I sometimes, I sometimes do. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes sing songs in English, very often. Hey. It's a good technique, you know, it's a good technique for learning English. Sing songs, guys. Sing songs in English. Uh, this is it for today. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Practice. How often? How often? Okay. And practice answering. Practice answering the questions using every day, using once twice, three times, four times, five times, and using outbursts of frequency. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Good job. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.